Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. Okay, you have three school zone violations, and they're all at the same location on Douglas Avenue. Now, <clears throat> one of these was 31 miles per hour. I'm going to dismiss that one. Who was driving the car? Were you driving? I'm the only driver of my car. No. No one else drives the car? No, sir. All right. I mean, uh, you have a husband? Yes, I do. Does he drive the car? No, he doesn't. Oh. You drive him around? Yes, I do. Oh, you're looking there around? Yes. Where is he? Right there. Oh, get up here. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning. What is your name? Abu Bakar. You're a lucky guy. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, I know. You go, where do you? Right? Yeah, and he's driving me around. <laughs> he drives you around. Now, when you drive around, does he sit in the back seat and give you orders? No? No. 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 Absolutely no, not. I'm, I'm legally blind. Oh, okay. So he's, a, he's a front seat driver. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you want to tell me about these other two speeding tickets? I paid one of the tickets. I got four originally. Yeah. I, I paid one of the tickets. Um, I'm very careful in the school, school zone. I... We have two great grandchildren that we are raising. And one of them goes to school right up Douglas Ave. And we live right off of Douglas Ave. Yeah. I'm careful, like I said, in a school zone. How many children do you have? My, our kids are grown, but this, these are my great grandchildren. Great grandchildren? Yes. We're in our 70s. Yeah. What guys look kind of young. It's all because she takes good, such good care of you. <laughs> We're newlyweds, Your Honor. We haven't been married a year yet. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. One year, not yet. Not yet. What are you going to do on your first year anniversary? Oh, I don't know, but it's going to be special. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how, it's, it's really none of my business, but how long was your courtship? Oh. One week? No. One month. One month. One month. One month. Oh, and one day. Oh, one month and one day. Yes. Well, you know, I have, it's not my saying, but I think what happened was uh, that you got hit by the thunderbolt, right? <laughs> when you saw Lydia, right? You got hit by the thunderbolt. Remember the movie The Godfather? Mm -hmm. They say he got hit, when he met, he saw Apollonia, he got hit by the thunderbolt, mm -hmm. right? So I think that's what happened with you. No, well, we see, we accidentally met on my birthday. And we got married a month later. We were, we were finished fishing. <laughs> That's probably the best birthday present you ever got. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you got a wife, you got a cook, you got a housekeeper, you got a chauffeur. This guy's in pretty good shape. Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> I'm going to charge you $35 court cost, and that'll take care of it. This is my second time meeting you, Your Honor. It's been maybe 15 years ago. I guess, when I first met you. And I just want to say that I don't like coming here to see you, but I think of you often. I don't like courts, period. But I know you're so fair. And I thank God for you. Your family is blessed through you. And I just want you to know that I'm grateful, and I'm sure many people are grateful for you. What do you thank you so much? Those... Uh... <coughs> Those words mean more than you can imagine to me. I appreciate that. You know, I come here and I try to do my job, and I try to take people's circumstances into consideration. So hearing somebody express that means a great deal to me. So I appreciate that very much. And I'm sure many people feel that way about you, Your Honor. Well, thank you. You're the greatest. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good luck to both of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good luck.